Welcome back, it's Nine, and today we are discussing more PlayStation 5 news, and we're going to be talking about PAX, which looks like we might have a PlayStation event happening there based on their website, and we're also going to be talking about a leak that comes from Twitter from someone who in the past has been correct about other information. Now before we get into that, if you haven't subscribed already, please hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell to get notified about all my upcoming videos, and hit the like button. It helps the channel a ton. Now let's get right into this, starting with the PAX website. I will have this on screen for you guys, and it looks like on September 18th, at 10.45 p.m. to 11.45 p.m., Sony has a placeholder in there for an event. It says no description yet, and it just says Sony holder. So it, it's possible that we could be seeing a PlayStation 5 reveal there. Technically, there's no real description there, and that could also be because they want it to be a surprise and they don't want to just reveal it just yet. That's when it's happening. And we are only on September 11th now, so they still have a few more days before they'll likely reveal that they are going to hold a big event there. But I think that this is very fitting because we know that there's a lot that still needs to be known about the PlayStation 5. And naturally, maybe they're trying to go with a typical event that they would have where they show off their user interface. They show off their complete teardown of their console, some more games. And then at the end, they hit us with a big banger saying that, hey, these are the prices, these are the release dates, and this is when you can pre-order the machine. So it makes sense that this could be the big event that we've been waiting for in September 18th. What do you know, just a few days before the Xbox Series S and X pre-orders open. Could it be that Sony is uh, trying to sabotage somebody's pre-order event? Now, it could be this, right? Like, it could just be a coincidence. I'm sure that Sony has actually been planning this for a long time now. I don't think, again, that they were waiting for Xbox to reveal everything. I think that they probably plan to be here on September 18th at PAX to show off everything that's left. Now, obviously, again, this is not a confirmation. I don't want to be held liable for, you know, making people think that this is officially the event. Technically speaking, we don't know for a fact that this is the event, but it looks really, really good in the sense that there is a placeholder there saying Sony holder September 18th and they've got an hour time slot which is a good amount of time to do everything that they need to do the big things that they really do need to cover is just a tear down of the machine obviously price release day pre-order date and then maybe show a couple games maybe we see the next God of War game maybe we see some more Miles Morales maybe we see uh, more Demon Souls and maybe we get some launch titles announced as well just to let us know that this is exactly what's going to be available so it's a good sign I want to say that out of everything that has come from rumors, uh, speculation, alleged leaks. This is probably the most promising thing. I feel pretty good about this, and I think that uh, I wouldn't blame you guys if you felt good about it as well. Let me know in the comments what you think of this specific situation. But on to the next topic, and this comes from at ZHugeX. His name is Daniel Ahmad, and he is verified on Twitter. He has been known to leak or I want to say leak, but maybe not leak. He's an insider. Like he knows things that not everybody knows when it comes to video games, when it comes to consoles. And he had something to say over on Twitter. He says model numbers for PS5 and PS5 digital edition plus box contents. So we look at the listed things and we have the PlayStation 5 console, PlayStation 5 digital console. They gave us some model numbers. So it's interesting that we've even got model numbers here and the box contents say PlayStation 5 console, wireless controller, 825 gigabyte SSD, a base for the console, so that'll be included, HDMI cable, AC power cord, USB cable, instruction manual, and Astro's Playroom. And they are identical on both the digital edition and the regular standard edition. So it looks like there won't be a difference. What I am very interested in, and I'm so happy that they went with this, was they are including a base for the console. Like if you wanna stand it up, you finally have the base that you can just clip it onto. And that's something I wish they did with the PS4. But you know what? PS5 really does need it. Based on what I've seen, what it looks like, it looks like it's meant to be st uh, stood upright. Obviously, it can be laid down flat, but I'm glad they did throw in a base. It makes me really happy to see that, especially when we were seeing all these alleged leaks saying they're going to charge 29 bucks for a stand. I just, it, it threw me off. And I'm so glad that that ended up not being true. Now, mind you, if this is true, which I wouldn't be surprised. This is somebody that I would consider 
relatively reliable on the internet. Uh, he says a couple other things in here. He says this is from a Hong Kong distributor, so probably region specific, just FYI. And also he says, just realized I accidentally cropped the price out of the image. Sorry, my bad. I imagine that that's just a joke because if there was a price, he, he would have said that as well. So it's promising, guys. This is probably the most promising uh, news reports about the PlayStation 5 when it comes to the console, when it comes to, uh, you know, a possible event that we've had in quite a while. You know, a lot of times we're just going based off of what this person or that person is saying. And we've all been tired of hearing about the leaks and the rumors. And I know, I know, I'm with you guys. I know some of you are saying, I'm just sick of uh, sick of hearing about this. But the thing is, when these are heavily rotating on the internet, like this is my channel. This is what I do here is I talk about PlayStation news, guys. So I apologize if it becomes like exhausting to a degree, but I always try to be... Uh, bring in the most reliable information out. And, and when it's not reliable, I like to say that, hey, I don't believe this to put my opinions out there and, and make sure you guys aren't also falling for what seems to be obvious lies. In this case, this looks promising. So I'm going to pass this on to you guys. And I'm going to ask you, number one, what do you think of this PlayStation event that's happening at PAX on September 18th? Is it possible that this is going to be the final PS5 event? I'm hoping it is because this could be a big blowout one hour for us to know everything that there is left to know about the PlayStation 5. I can't wait. It is so soon too, which makes me so happy. And by the way, it's my son's birthday that day too, so it would be amazing. Two birds, one stone. And also, what do you guys think of Daniel Ahmed at ZHugeX? His tweet, is it possible that this is accurate information? I think, personally, it's very plausible. It wouldn't surprise me. I mean, the only thing that's kind of like out of the the realm of possibility is that the base comes in included with it because they could easily charge you for that and make money. But then again, it's PlayStation. They've been known to be giving stuff away with their console, like for a free game, for example, which is super exciting. I'm so glad to see that they're really throwing in Astro's Playroom for free as well because it's just going to be a great way to get to know the DualSense controller. As always, if you haven't subscribed already, please hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell to get notified about all my upcoming videos, hit the like button, it helps the channel a ton. Follow me on Twitter, link will be in the description. And lastly, share this video with a friend, that also helps a ton. I will talk to you guys on the next one, take care.